phone. In front of you is everything that you need to draw pictures. I've got some construction paper that's a nice blue, sort of in between black and white. Some masking tape for holding everything down. A little contraption I made out of things I found in our junk drawer to hold the iPhone in between your eye and the piece of paper, and of course the iPhone itself. Now here's how it works. You run the program, and you can select an image. I already had the program running, and I already selected this picture of Garrison Keillor using the camera roll. Then you hit the draw button, which enables you to see both the picture you want to draw and your drawing surface at the same time. You'll be holding the iPhone in between your eye and your drawing surface like this. Then you can adjust the transparency of the actual picture you're seeing as you're drawing, and you'll see both your hand and the picture that you want to draw at the same time. Now, the way that this is going to work is we're going to select and draw the highlights first, then we're going to draw the most dark areas. Now the Camera Lucida app makes this easier for you to do, particularly in version 2, by giving you a couple functions to do that. What we can do is to posterize this picture like that. And it's going to turn it into six different values of gray, from your brightest to your darkest. Now, when you're drawing, you can choose which value you want to draw and then just actually draw it in. It's going to be a little hard for me to hold the camera and take pictures at the same time and draw. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do it lightly and I'll show you the progress as I move along. Now I'm going to use the levelize function. The levelize function allows you to pick a level of brightness using this slider. So here you can see me sliding and seeing the different values. In this particular case what I'm seeing are the very darkest and if I slide it all the way over, those are the highlights. So what I'll do is I'll take my white pencil first and I'll draw these highlights. Now you can see you still have the pencil down here as well as the highlights. So all I'm going to do is anywhere that I see white on the screen, I'm going to draw white on my paper. So all I'm doing is coming in here. This is the highlights found on his nose. Sometimes it's easier to draw an outline and then fill it in. So all I'm doing there is that highlight of the nose. Get it? So there's some light catching up here. Over here, we've got some highlights in the eyes. Like this. Get a little bit of reflection, perhaps, from his glasses. Okay. It's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to finish this up. Right there, you can see what I've drawn so far. What? Well, doesn't look like Garrison Keillor yet. Well, we're just starting. So I'll do a little bit more drawing of this, and then I'll show you what I'm done. Two minutes later, I've drawn in these highlights. I'm going to finish up his hair up here. Hang on. Okay, it's a couple minutes later, and all I did was finish drawing this in. And again, all I was doing was anywhere that I saw brightness, I would draw it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to pick a different tone. I'm going to go straight into the very darkest. So what we're going to end up with is three tones. We're going to end up with the blackest tone using this charcoal pencil. We're going to use this paper mid-tone as a background. And the whites are the highlights that we've already done. So to get the, the darkest values, I'm going to take this slider and slide it all the way down to the darks. Now, let me turn off the overlay for a second. Make it completely non-transparent. And what you're seeing is the black areas that need to be filled in. Now, if I put in these black areas, I'm going to get a very interesting portrait when I'm done. I've got to sharpen up that charcoal pencil and get started. And I like to put my transparency right about there. You can adjust that. And I come in here with my pencil. And all I do is start anywhere I see black on the paper, I'm going to draw. 
these shadows, particularly near the line, near the nose rather, the line of the nose, is really what allows you to identify that it's Garrison Keillor. So I like to be very careful and get the edge just right. Then I can go back in and fill in the rest with large blocks. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to blacken these things in, and I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, a couple minutes later, and all I did was to outline where the black area was, because it's just one big blob. So getting that shape is important. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black pencil, charcoal pencil, and I'm going to fill in all of this black. And when you're done, you're going to have this black, you're going to have this middle region, and you can have these highlights, and we'll call that done. Just filling in the hair. Here's showing you some progress as we move along. What I've done now is just to fill in most of the blacks of the hair. I have the transparency set completely on opaque right now. And when I've selected the black color, what's happening is it's only allowing me to see the blacks come through. So I need to put some more blacks over here, highlight his eyes with black if highlights, probably not the right phrase. And I'll be back in a second and I'll be just about done. Okay, I've spent 15, 20 minutes on this and I think I'm going to call it done. Basically, here's the original that you can see. And then what I did was to posterize it. So it looks like that. And then I just picked the very brightest and the very darkest using the levelize functions. That's the darkest, and there's the brightest. And voila, there's the result. Just some charcoal sticks and some children's construction paper. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, try the $1.99 app at cameralucidaapp.com.